So what does smart manufacturing look like? So think about IoT. You know, we all have a smartphone in our pockets and it's a connected device now, right? So IoT is the Internet of Things. It really has been impacting our lives for a while now, right? It brings together the worlds of machines and the Internet of, in like a single solution. So think of digitizing the, the physical world. Now, think about the existing structure of most facilities. There are a lot of legacy out there, right? And those, those legacy systems, they're working in silos. They have their own limited sets of data. And when things happen within that, that set, it stays there, right? And you know how that data is typically analyzed? After stuff happens, okay? So there's a gap. Now, smart manufacturing. In these facilities, machines talk to machines, okay? Data's moving and being analyzed in real time to make immediate adjustments and improvements. So consider the possibility now that exists with the industrial Internet of Things that starts making that big impact, right? And so by the way, I guess, sorry to inform everyone, there's another acronym out there. So you'll hear the IIoT. So there you go. Don't get mad at me. Don't shoot the messenger. But there's another buzzword, but that's what they're talking about, the industrial Internet of Things. Think about easily configured lines that can make customized products. That sounds great. So what, when you have that smart manufacturing uh, model in place, you don't put yourself in a box that it's not possible for you. So you start with those small sensors, and then you build it from there. Okay? It's a great way to, to break through the barrier. Find that data that matters to you. Build your case around that and start building momentum with each win. You can do this.